Before he was dancing to lyrics inspired by his relationship at Taylor Swift's era's tour, Travis Kels was just a fan of the Grammy-winning singer. It all started with a friendship bracelet for Travis Kels and Taylor Swift. Before the 34-year-old NFL star was jamming out to songs written about him at the era's tour, Kels started as just a fan of the superstar songstress. Their love story began in July 2023 when Kels attended Swift's tour at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri, which is also the venue where the Chiefs play. On an episode of his New Heights podcast with his brother Jason, the tight end revealed that he made a friendship bracelet, a tradition for Era's tour concert goers, with his phone number on it to give to her. I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings, he said on the show, playfully adding that he took it personal when he couldn't meet her backstage. Little did he know, just a few months later he'd be the person greeting Swift as soon as she walked off stage on that very same tour, and that several moments from their headline-grabbing relationship would be referenced in lyrics for her new album, The Tortured Poets Department. In her Time Person of the Year interview five months after that Kansas City concert, Swift revealed that she found it metal as hell when Kels adorably put me on blast on his podcast. On the song So High School, Swift sings, Cheeks Pink in the Twinkling Lights, Tell Me About the First Time You Saw Me, likely referencing Kels's first time seeing her perform at Arrowhead Stadium. Aside from his public showing of admiration for Swift, Kels kept it cool when he and Swift finally did connect. We started hanging out right after that, Swift told Time, referring to the podcast episode as the catalyst for their romance. So we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for, because we got to get to know each other. Just before the singer was seen at her first Chiefs game, Kels said he had invited Swift to a game during an appearance on the Pat McAfee show, but her attendance was kept under wraps until fans spotted her in Kels's family suite sitting next to his mom, Donna Kels, on set. 24. Swift quickly took a liking to attending Kels's games, befriending his longtime friends like Eric Jones and Ross Travis, and bonding with Brittany Mahomes, whose husband is Kels's close friend and teammate, Patrick Mahomes. Before long, she was bringing along some of her celeb friends, like Blake Lively, Ice Spice and Lana Del Rey, and her presence became a popular talking point of the Chiefs season as the NFL upped coverage of the singer's attendance. Swift would later nod to this fanfare in the performance for So High School, which she first performed on May 9th in Paris, France. Fans noticed that as Swift and her background dancers perform the song, they form a stadium seating setup and each dancer's pose mimics one of the specific photos of Swift's reactions during Kelsey's games. The live performance of So High School also utilizes stadium lights, creating a football field-like setup for Swift's song. The Karma singer also appears to reference the Chief's popular swag surf dance in her choreography. The move is a tradition among Chiefs fans as FLY's, Swag Surfin, plays in the stadium and everyone in the stand sways back and forth. Swift was seen doing the dance when the Chiefs played the Miami Dolphins in January 2024. And though it's subtle, several of Swift's backup dancers can be seen doing a few of Kelsey's signature touchdown dances during the performance. Toward the end of the song, Swift does one of his signature moves, too, as she pretends to drive a car with one hand. Also in the lyrics of So High School, Swift appears to cheekily mention Kelsey's penchant for football and how it differs from her life as a songwriter with the lyric, Truth, Dare, Spin Bottles, You Know How to Ball, I Know Aristotle, Touch Me While Your Bros Play Grand Theft Auto. When Kels and his friend Travis, 31, attended Swift's live show on May 11th, Travis jokingly pretended to be playing a video game as Swift sang the lyric. In October, the couple was spotted out and about in New York City in an outing that would also be referenced in the singer's lyrics.
Swift and Kels made surprise appearances on Saturday Night Live and were photographed holding hands in N. YC as they attended the after party at Catch Steak. In So High School, Swift sings, Get My Car Door, Isn't That Sweet? Then pull me to the back see it, no one's ever had me, not like you, seemingly nodding to the video of Kels helping her out of a car in New York City, where he was seen gesturing to her security that he could handle the task without their help. On November 11th, Kels traveled to Buenos Aires, Argentina to support Swift on tour. The concert was postponed due to weather, but Swift and Kels stepped out for a date night at Elena, a restaurant in the Four Seasons Hotel. The following day, Kels was spotted dancing and singing along at her show as he sat with the singer's dad in the VIP section. The show would mark the first time that Swift swapped lyrics in her final song of the show, Karma, to reference her romance with the NFL star. The original lyric goes, Karma is the guy on the screen coming straight home to me, which Swift cleverly changed to Karma is the guy on the Chiefs. After the Chiefs beat the Baltimore Ravens during the AFC Championship game and secured their spot in Super Bowl 58 in February, Swift joined Kels on the field to celebrate, creating additional moments that she seemingly references on her new album. The couple packed on the PDA and Swift was seen whispering something sweet to her boyfriend as cameras surrounded them. The Chiefs' 2024 Super Bowl win became a major moment for the couple as Swift brought along her family and closest friends, including her parents, and celebrated with Kels on the field. After the win, the couple was spotted exchanging loving kisses as she told Kels that the game was unbelievable and electric after he earned his third ring. Fans speculate that Swift nods to that Super Bowl moment in her song, The Alchemy. The clever songstress further fueled that theory when she performed it on April 12th in Paris with Kels in attendance during the surprise song portion of her show, the only time she veers off her usual track list. Before she played the song, which includes lyrics like, Wear the trophy. He just comes, running over me, Swift noted that the show was her 87th of the tour, a nod to Kels's jersey number. So when I touch down, call the amateurs and cut M from the team, ditch the clowns, get the crown, baby I'm the one to beat, she sings on the track. Swift also showed love and support for Kels and the Chiefs that night by incorporating the team's signature yellow and red colors in her live show. Many fans in attendance at her Paris shows noted that the lights on the stage, and seemingly the lights on people's bracelets, turn yellow and red during So High School, and Swift sported a red and yellow two-piece outfit for the show Kels attended. During the weekend show at the Paris La Defense Arena on Sunday, which marked Swift's fourth and final night there, Kels cheered her on from the crowd and was joined by Bradley Cooper and Gigi Hadid. Soon, hell begin training camp for the upcoming NFL season as Swift takes her tour to Sweden, Portugal and Spain.